Okay, so today we're going to talk about Jesus and his situation. Let me put it down. You know, stone to help me, okay? Because Jesus gave us stones. In this age, he did. Shit, back then, the old days, baby, you ain't never seen shit like that, okay? But yet, you got these fake-ass folks marketing shit for, like, what, fucking $20 for a fucking amethyst? Eh, some places are cheap, but when it's cheap... It's not fucking real half the time. But anyways, baby. So Jesus. This young man in this lifetime, you know, he carries a lot of energy. A lot of guilt. That's what it is. And Jesus is in a situation where he knows he has to leave the situation. And this situation is, and he's dealing with the same problem as he did in his past life with St. John. Because here's the thing, St. John, he wasn't learning his lesson. Jesus wasn't learning his lesson in that lifetime. Because what it was, and he finally did, don't get me wrong, but this is what he's holding on to, is that he's holding on to human attachment, people attachment, okay? Because we all human here, not saying he attached to aliens and shit, okay? But he, He's going through something where he has a hard time. And let me tell you, Jesus, you did a good job, baby. You're doing a good job at establishing boundaries, especially your fake-ass female friends. Good for you. But let me tell you, your, your male friends, on the other hand, or whatever the fuck, those people fake too. Just because I say that the woman ain't fake, are, are fake, that don't mean the men aren't fake either. So, baby, you have to understand... Fake is everywhere around you, Jesus. Okay? You know, you have to understand that even though, you know, you are my father. Well, I gotta tell you that. I gotta tell you this, baby. But, there's nothing that I can... I'm gonna have to give it to you straight. This is the way it is, okay? And, how I give it to you straight is that you just not... You're not being smart. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe you are being smart, baby. Maybe you are being smart, 1044. But baby, what you have to understand is that some people just don't give a fuck about you. Some people are just in it for whatever you got going on, okay? You know, I have a question to ask you, Jesus. Like, are these people that really love you for who you are? So if you were to tell these people you are Jesus Christ, and you were meant to help the world in the biggest ways, would you tell them that? Would you also tell them you got past lives as Osiris, as King Tutankhamun, and all these other past lives? Are you willing to share that with other people? Because if you can't be honest about who you are around people, and you know your soul, that's who you are, what's the point of those people being your friends? These people are not even your friends, they're just people that you hang around because it's just you're not letting go of the guilt. Okay, you're not 333. You're not letting go of what needs to go. Okay, you have to understand that these people, and you you know they're dead weight. Okay, they even dead beat. Sorry. I say it because I love you. But these people, they're broken. Okay, and while you are fixing yourself, baby, it's like standing next to a bunch of, you know you're healed here you're healing but you got a bunch of people who are like fucking unfixed and you can't surround yourself around people like that you need about be around people that are fixed you need to be around people that are fixed because you are fixing yourself or they are in fixing are they they are fixed okay either one but jesus you need to stop carrying guilt god damn it Go look at my healing playlist, okay? Go to healing playlist, and I'm gonna fucking add one. ASMR for guilt, okay? Go look in the goddamn healing list, okay? And I'll put it up. Well, can I drag it all the way down? Yeah, I'm moving it to the bottom. Go click on it, Jesus. And play that shit every fucking damn day.